cast their votes on the biggest issues facing each state, crime being a major concern for our next guest after an alarming shooting outside his family's home. Joining us now to discuss is North Carolina congressional candidate and former Green Beret Pat Harrigan. Sir, welcome to Wake Up America. So a shot was fired at your parents' home. Just missed a room where your children were sleeping. You're a former Green Beret, so you're no stranger to danger. But now this is involving your family. Fill us in on what happened. Yeah, you know, as a former Green Beret, I'm used to getting shot at, but I am not used to my family getting shot at. And this is another level of uh, danger and uh, frustration for me. Look, this all started at the very beginning of this campaign when I won the primary and my opponents started telling lies about me. And I'm not just talking about any types of lies. You know, I'm in the defense industry, specifically in small arms, and my opponent has been saying that I profit from the deaths of children. Reprehensible lies. And that was followed shortly after with a very credible death threat uh, that federal law enforcement has been working to secure me and my family. My opponent then uh, showed a, a significant lack of judgment by filming an ad at one of my homes. Uh, he has shown pictures of my kids in a complaint that he's filed. And then just a few weeks ago, as my parents are sitting watching television at 11 o'clock at night, while they're watching my children, uh, a shot cracks through their home uh, 20 feet away from where my kids were sleeping. Wow. This is, it is just, it, it's, it's incredibly frustrating because my opponent has simply sacrificed the safety and security of my family on the altar of scoring political points. Yeah, your opponent, uh, Senator Jackson, that, that ad that you talked about was taken down. But again, what happened the, uh, the other day? No, and unfortunately at this point, we still have many more questions then we have answers. Uh, you know, the men and women in blue are doing everything that they can uh, to protect me and to protect my family, get to the bottom of this and bring those uh, who are responsible for this action to justice. And I'm very appreciative of their efforts. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we talk about crime and it's not just in big cities. It's all over the place. Um, and, and I'm assuming that when you talk to voters, that's one of the, the top issues. And now, unfortunately, your family has been you know, part of that, has experienced that. What are voters talking to you about in North Carolina? Well, they're definitely talking about all the things that my opponent doesn't want to talk about. And that's one of the reasons he's lying about me. He is trying to distract from talking about the issues that matter. He doesn't want to talk about the economy. He doesn't want to talk about inflation. He doesn't want to talk about crime. He doesn't want to talk about the fact that 30% of our kids in Charlotte Mecklenburg schools are reading at grade level. And he certainly doesn't want to talk about the catastrophe that we have at the southern border. I, this is the issues, these are the issues that the voters of the 14th district really care about. And my opponent is simply scared to debate. He's scared to act. And he is scared to admit that he will make inflation worse in Congress. He's willing to do anything to not talk about it. Yeah. And what do uh, just a couple of seconds left? But what does the next day look like for you? Look, this all comes down to how many folks are going to get out to vote in the 14th District of North Carolina. We are in an incredible position. And what I'd ask you to do if you're in the 14th District or you know somebody that's in Mecklenburg or Gaston counties in North Carolina, Give them a call. Let's talk about, you mentioned Dr. Oz and John Fetterman. Um, the mm. polls are close uh, when it comes to, to Dr. Oz and, and Fetterman. We saw that debate a couple of weeks ago. What do you think will happen tomorrow? And do you think we'll know by Wednesday morning?